We're here today at the 10th birthday of the Conversions event here at our EMEA headquarters in sunny, beautiful Dublin. Since we started doing this event, the number of smartphones has more than doubled. There's about 4 billion now. We've seen new technologies emerge like progressive web apps, but really what stayed the same and what will continue staying the same is the need to put the user first when we're designing experiences. We'll have speakers from Google product directors, UX directors, designers here to talk to you about their experience and tips and techniques building user-first experiences. Hello and welcome everybody to the 10th iteration of Conversions at Google here in Dublin, Ireland. You are all very, very welcome. I'm really excited that the team has evolved to the theme of this event from increasing mobile conversions or increasing mobile site speed to actually putting users first. Because the reality of that is here in Google, putting users first is our North Star. I encourage you to think very carefully about the metrics, the culture and the principles you align on because they will truly determine how you build product and what future you're creating in your company and for your, for your users and clients. Majority of companies in the ecosystem are mainly focused on optimizing before the click, before the tap experience to optimize the outcome. But the real potential is here, optimizing beyond the click and tap experience. User research can help save dollars. So in this case, we really help the team to not invest too much in fighting all of the ugly reviews, but really refocus and re-strategize and take the resources that we already have and apply them to something that users really care about. I joined Google as the first user experience team member outside the United States and now we are, you know, hundreds. So there's a sense of looking back and, you know, you don't see what changes, you know, day by day, but if you look over 10 years, it's been quite the journey. One of my biggest accomplishments, I should say, is I think I've at least touched 100,000 plus Google users through various different studies, be it large scale surveys, in-person studies, focus groups and a variety of different things. The whole point of these events is like a feedback loop. We spend ages coming up with these solutions, present them to the audience, they'll say, well, in this our context, this doesn't happen, so then next time we can improve on it. And then the whole community can be elevated together. This is the first time that we're incorporating the theme of designing user first. So I think that this is really critical to think about when you're designing websites and making sure that you are addressing their needs. Yeah, it's weird. I've been here many times, not as a presenter, as the audience, so I think it's nice. The setup is nice, the event is amazing, I've been here many times, so I'm looking really forward to it. So, rather than thinking about how we can design for people with disabilities specifically, we want to think about ways that we can create a great experience for everybody, regardless of their abilities. We don't want to tweak the behavior. We don't want to make our user do something that they don't want to do. We want just to facilitate what they actually want to do. And in this case, please conclude the checkout. It's really important to be technically fast, right? Optimizing your site is a really critical thing. But user behavior, we have to understand why people are behaving in this way. Because their user behavior is affected by many different things. If you really want to prioritize, the first thing you need to do is set the basics and really understand what's the mission, what's the vision that you want to achieve in order to work all together towards the right direction. If the team doesn't agree on the big picture, they won't agree on a single feature for sure. There's no substitute for spending time with customers. Do it regularly, do it often. If the words user research or usability or whatever scare you, don't call it that. Just call it spending time with customers. And that's really what it boils down to, just staying close to the people using your product, making sure your team stays close to them as much as possible, and making more time for that than you currently do, because I guarantee all of us could be making more time for that than we currently do. It's been a great day. There's been fantastic energy in the audience, and everyone I spoke to said that they learned something that they can take back to their offices and start uh, putting the user even more at the center of their designs.